I'm IB Crazy, and today we're going to be smashing the SBA Spartan 210 frame. This 10 pound weight for science. We want to see just how strong this frame is. So behind me, I have a guillotine. And we're going to be raising this 10 pound weight six inches at a time and smashing this frame when supported at two motors until it's no longer capable of flight. So with that, let's see how strong it is. Well, that didn't work. Maybe this will work. Okay, 24 inches. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. Okay, with 24 inches, we started to get a little splintering of the frame, but look at the slow-mo. That thing nearly hit the ground, and that's got to be four inches of travel. But uh, I think this is the last drop. 30 inches. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Well, it's been nice knowing you. Okay, we're running out of daylight, so uh, I guess we're going to have to put the light box in frame, but uh, it's cracked, but still flyable, which means 36 inches. And so it looks like, as I had to raise it up, I'm up 3, 4 from there, so 1, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. There's no way this is surviving. Okay, well, a 36-inch uh, drop and the Spartan frame, well, didn't survive, and actually neither did my drywall screw. So, here's the thing. We knew it was damaged at 30 inches, so I've changed arms, and so instead of stressing it over this, we're going from these two points, and we're going to drop it again at 36 inches, um, and see if it actually survives. I'm thinking... I don't know that I want to go out and say it, but I'm going to say I think it just might take it. It's not going to like it, but I think it just might survive. Let's see. Okay, second drop, 36 inches. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and 3. Well, it took it, but... I don't think we could fly that if we wanted to. So, uh, Spartan frame, 10 pounds, 36 inch drop. Doesn't quite completely destroy it, but... Yeah, I think it's just beyond flyable, but... Wow! <laughs> now I gotta unscrew it. And I bet both of those screws are broken. Okay, so SBA Spartan 210, 36-inch drop, 10-pound weight, 40.64 joules of energy to destroy it. Admittedly, I'm impressed. I can't wait to test a few more. <laughs> 